Welcome everybody and thank you to the organizers for the opportunity to present BSF's path forward around cathode active materials. At BSF, we create chemistry for a sustainable future. Sustainability is in our DNA. This year, we announced our intention to reduce our absolute CO2 emissions by 25% by 2030 compared with 2018 and aim to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Today, I want to talk about one of our key products that will contribute to a more sustainable society in the years to come. Battery materials, in our case, cathode materials, are one of the biggest growth areas of the chemical market. Between 2020 and 2025, BSF will invest significant amount of money in our battery material business. Our goal is to become a market leading cam supplier with the best in class sustainability and CO2 footprint globally. Cathode materials are a wonderful example for the importance of sustainable chemistry in many value chains for downstream industries. In this case, for the automotive industry. A lot of the sustainability challenges also beyond just the CO2 footprint, are hidden with the raw materials. And as the leading chemical company, we also want to become a leader in changing this. It is worth to take a deeper look at the various processing steps and their sustainability challenges and how we at BSF try to tackle this. First, we must begin at the mines and metal refineries. This is one of the key contributors of the CO2 footprint of the battery. As minerals or metals like nickel, cobalt or lithium are many times only available in very low concentration in the respective ore bodies. Isolating and refining metals requires a lot of energy. Also some of these metals will become very scarce given the growth expectations which seem to accelerate with the many recent announcements. We will partner up globally to ensure a resilient, sustainable and robust metal supply chain. Second, metals need to be converted into an electrochemical active material. The cathode material is the key raw material that drives performance and a lot of the cost of a battery. In fact, this requires two steps. A precursor production, abbreviated uh, with PCAM, and a cathode active materials production named CAM. Also in this case, production is very energy intensive at temperatures above 600 degrees C and energy efficient production is key to reduce the CO2 burden further. Third, so far the supply for cell manufacturers in Europe and in North America almost exclusively relies on deliveries from Asia. We believe that this is not sustainable and the risk of significant supply disruptions would not come as a surprise. Our global production footprint ensures customer proximity and our modular expansion concept allows us to be a reliable growth partner for our customers to support the massive transformation ahead of us. And then fourth, we invest in recycling. Recycling for battery materials requires again smart chemistry to achieve highest metals recovery returns with lowest energy input. By offering the best in class CO2 footprint, BSF can help further reduce the CO2 burden of EVs over time. We would like to close the loop to avoid further resource and CO2 intensive mining and refining. Let's take a look at how we want to tackle these topics. One of the major challenges facing the battery value chain is the supply of metals and offering our services closest to our customers. For electromobility and batteries, we need more chemistry and materials than for a combustion engine and the exhaust system. While for an automotive catalyst, just a few grams of precious metals are enough, Electric vehicles will need easily more than 50 kg, up to 70 kg of metals. The relevant natural resources are limited to only a few geographical locations. 
The metals also are a major cost driver of battery materials and consequently the battery cells. We are responsibly sourcing metals needed for cathode active materials globally to ensure a resilient and sustainable metal supply chain for our customer. With mining partners, we will ensure a regional, resilient and sustainable supply chain for nickel and cobalt in Europe. In Asia, we assess with the partner the development of a joint nickel and cobalt refining complex in Indonesia. There is potential to secure sufficient nickel and cobalt in enough for more than 80 kT of high nickel containing cathode materials. We are a founding member of the GBA, the Global Battery Alliance. The GBA currently develops an intelligent tool, the battery passport, which will become a digital twin of each battery. It should become a kind of quality seal as it provides relevant sustainability data starting with GHG emissions and social compliance. We have seen in 2020 how crucial securing local supply is for the industry and the global economy. Various supply chains, also in the automotive industry, led to costly supply interruptions. Currently, North American and European supply chains rely almost exclusively on battery raw materials being shipped from Asia. Whilst we see a mushrooming of European cell production capacity, the demand is initially only covered by one third from European cathode materials production. In case of acceleration of the market development, this gap will even widen. We in BSF have always believed in having the supply chain of key raw materials in close customer proximity. We believe that the local production and local content for battery materials are key to ensure a resilient and sustainable supply chain. That's why we decided to invest into two new production sites in Europe. Our new plans for precursor materials in Hayawalta, Finland and cathode active materials in Schwarzheide, Germany will come on stream next year. This will not only shorten logistical routes, we will also reduce our dependence on imports from remote areas. Together with our established production plants in Asia and the US, BSF will be the first truly global cathode active material producer in the world to support the rising demands of our customers in all regions locally. And our new modular plant concept can easily be scaled up to flexibly accommodate our customers' demands and to close the gap for local content based on very energy efficient production combined with a high share of renewable energy. BSF is at the forefront of pushing cathode active materials innovation to meet our customers' needs. We have the technological flexibility to support our customers by tailoring the products to their exact requirements. For example, higher driving range or faster charging times. Currently, we offer a broad uh, CAM portfolio in the industry with a focus on nickel-rich NCM products and low or even no cobalt for high energy density materials. The current trend is towards materials with more than 80, even more than 90% nickel. This is far from being easy. Morphology, chemical composition, powder processing, these are key levers to achieve optimal performance. We use special coatings and dopants to fine-tune the chemistry of our products. Despite the trend to reduce cost and the drive for standardization in the market, the CAM materials market will become more differentiated over time. And a strong technology toolbox is essential to be in a leading position of these developments. One example will be manganese-rich products for which we have a very strong IP position. This is a new product family that will play a crucial role in the future for the low cost segment. Manganese is abundantly available at much lower cost than nickel or cobalt. Supply seems to be not constrained, which is de-risking the challenge of surging metal prices that the industry is experiencing in this moment for automotive catalysts, in this case, in particular for rhodium, but also palladium. In short, we customize materials to optimize the balance of energy density, fast charge capability, cost and stability according to the requirements of our customers. The overarching goal of a sustainable battery value chain is to close the loop and create circularity. By 2030, we will see around 1.5 million metric tons 
of end-of-life batteries. Considering the growing demand of critical metals, the availability and CO2 impact of mining and refining, recycling is the inevitable way to go. The metal content of spent batteries will be higher than what we can find in natural ores. BSF has extensive history in the recycling industry and is a market leader for precious metal recycling of automotive catalysts. Like for precious metals, eventually we would like to run a large-scale urban mine which long-term will become the most sustainable metal source for the battery materials industry. We are currently forming partnerships to bundle resources and are looking into different opportunities of this important puzzle of the battery value chain. Currently, we are preparing to build a recycling prototype plant in Schwarzheide next to our new CAM plant, covering all steps of the recycling value chain. It will become into operation next year. We will be able to chemically extract battery grade lithium, which is one of the key value drivers in the battery recycling, next to the capability to achieve highest recovery returns on the metals. Recycled metals in future battery cells will reduce their CO2 burden by a minimum 25%, helping our customers to meet their sustainability goals. Let's look even more thoroughly into the CO2 footprint for batteries. Battery production produces more than 40% of the total carbon dioxide in the manufacturing process of a modern electric vehicle. Half of this comes from the production of the cathode material only. We should be aware that subject to the origin of the battery material, around 13 grams CO2 per kilometer driving range could result from the chem material alone. This could be even worse in case of energy intense processes are used along the value chain, which is currently a reality in some of the existing supply chains. With our holistic approach, we can offer CAM products with best-in-class CO2 footprint. There are four key measures behind this. First of all, BSF's production processes are so intelligently developed that they require significantly less energy than those of other players, which today are mainly located in Asia. We are talking about a reduction in electricity consumption of more than 45%. Secondly, our plants are powered by electricity that has a low carbon footprint or is generated from renewable energy sources. And third, our raw material partner uses a very abundant nickel ore and has one of the lowest CO2 emissions in the nickel industry when producing the metal. And last but not least, fourth, the significantly shortened supply chains contribute their share to this favorable overall CO2 footprint. This means that our cradle-to-grave emissions will be less than 10 gram CO2 per kilometer driving range. Our cathode active materials thus have a CO2 impact that is at least 30% lower than what we see today in electric vehicles on European roads. In the future, we can do even better with our innovative process for recycling battery raw materials. This will enable us to close the loop and reduce CO2 emissions by up to 60%. To wrap it up, the mobility transformation is happening now. Society and the political environment are changing, and so is the industry. And considering climate change accelerating, the industrial transformation is needed at a very challenging pace. We, the chemical and the automotive industry, are charged with establishing a sustainable value chain and taking responsibility for it. I think we should do it right from the very beginning and need to understand that the problem is not solved by hardly any CO2 emissions from an electric car in the future. Only a sustainable battery value chain will meet global society's needs and create a true sustainable future. We will not stop there but also work on disruptive innovations for the future. We partner and research on next generation systems, although the chemistry for solid state batteries has its known challenges and it will take a while. However, lithium metal based anodes 
which will allow for a step change in energy density could become viable together with our partner Sign Power and their Lyserion technology. We are all part of this one planet. And we as BSF are committed to take this challenge, grow sustainably and create an impact. BASF, we create chemistry.